What's going on my dudes? One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Takeda in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Takeda, the best strategies you need to be using and things to be aware of, and of course some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content and let's get right into it. As we get started go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we're going to be using throughout this guide so that anybody who's watching on any console can understand what we're talking about. Now I'm not gonna lie to you guys, Takeda is one of the most interesting characters I think in my opinion so far in this game. And the reason why is because he's got some really cool normals decent mix up let's go ahead and just take a peek real quick at his special move list look, look, look at all these now they're not individual moves no but they are moves that you can like change how you know far very far close the actual distance of the move and there's a lot of them that do that like we're still going there are so many that you can change the distance from so with that being in mind Takeda is going to be a character where you really have to control the space of the game because you're controlling the space of your character and your special move like you're deciding how far do you want to throw the smart stars you're deciding how far do you want to do down back four because if they're close to you and you just do it normally you're gonna go right over them so you can't just do a normal special move and expect it to hit you got to control that space so keep that in mind as you play him but let's go ahead and talk about his normals his moves his mix-ups kata is a really good mid-range character look how far our back two is that's a really good range and it's a mid hit as well i love this move it's not quite full screen obviously but it's got really good range even forward one pretty decent and both those go into combo obviously right off the gate we got moves that have really good range but what about up close well when we're up close we have one two and we got two one well those are going to be your up close punishing moves while during combos or if you're more mid-range you have back two I keep in mind back two one it is not safe so if they do block it you're getting it punished so in my opinion it's only safe to really do that inside of combos if you're doing it for a punish anyways but four to one has good range and it's faster and then four one two is safe on block as well which is nice he also has this very interesting forward two move it's got pretty good range reason why that is actually a good normal by itself do you see that we hit it it puts us at full screen kata likes the mid-range full screen options from here we can get it however we want we got special moves that go full screen and if you enhance it to pop up we got mid-range we got close range what about mix up lows and overheads well he's got back three that is a low and that can be canceled into special moves special moves like that teleport that are an overhead so that's pretty good mix up there too or i guess any other specials now overheads you don't have a ton of starting options in your normals or combo string like yeah we got back two one and then two four together that ends in an overhead uh two one two also ends in an overhead like we have overhead options yes as combo enders but nothing to really get us going except your special move back forward three now you see normally it is a mid but if you hold up or back during that special move it turns into an overhead so that is where your main mix up is going to lie you have your back three and then your back forward three holding up yeah you can do both of them or just put it in a combo for mix up Talking about other normals, Takeda's got some really interesting normal moves. Like for example, standing four might not seem like a crazy big deal, but you see here in that little couple frames right there, Takeda's actually in the air. And the reason why that matters is because like while we're in the air, we can actually go into aerial specials like, you know, down back three, where that's not normally special on the ground. So for example, you can do four, and then while you're in the air, do down back three, and you'll do the aerial special. And then cameos like Pharah, they can take you out of the air. That move also works with their aerial move. This. So just a quick note for you. Yeah, standing forward does that. You can utilize that in combos and look really flashy like this. So you can see utilizing that tool alone, it gives you a lot of options. Not only that, we have our standard down one, which every character has. Yeah, we got a good poke. Kata has a down backwards diagonally poke as well. If you hold both down and back, you have a different poke with way longer range. It is a lot slower, but it's still a mid range poke. And he also does that same thing in the air. So if your opponent's jumping, you've got like an aerial poke in a way, kind of cool. So in the air, he's got down diagonally back one and then down diagonally back two as well. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't really messed around with those too much, but they are there in his kit. I'm sure some pro player is gonna find something crazy with it, but they are they are part of his moveset. Now, what about wake up options? Like, what wake up attacks should we do when it comes to Takeda? Well, just so you know, your back forward three really enhanced normally does have armor, so that's a pretty safe option like this. You also have your down back four, which as you can see, goes over most moves I found out. So that might not be a bad option, assuming you're gonna, you know, kind of go over their move, like their pressure on wake up, kind of like this. And of course, if you enhance it, you hit, you can go into combos. 
So do you want armor or do you want to go over move and potentially land it? Up to you, but they're both great wake up options in my opinion. Now, what about strategies and like setups that Takeda has? Like what should you be thinking in the neutral game here? I mean, he's got the range. Like, he's going to beat most characters in this range because of his back two, because of his forward one two. He's a really good mid ranger character with great mid range punishes, but they can also handle himself up close as well. Now, strategy wise, there's a couple of things you want to keep in mind with Takeda and his moveset that you don't want to you don't want to forget about them because they're so good. Like down back one is a detonating star that won't detonate until we do down forward one or enough time passes. But if you do that, you see there are opponents on it and then we throw our star, there's a free mid pop-up. If you wanna like, you know, do a combo and then like throw that out there, plan on going towards that star for a combo, you definitely can. I find myself using cameos more often for that reason, for the star setup. I don't like setting up a trap or continuing combos like this. With the strategies you have to keep in mind, the spacing you have with the special moves. Like I said earlier, you're choosing, you, know, you wanna go close, you wanna go far with a ton of your special moves. You don't mind being up close, like I said, but as a Takeda player, you really excel in that mid range. <laughs> you got the combo setups for it. You're a deadly man. Once you're full screen, you have a ton of options. You, you can throw out the stars and get in there. Maybe even like do close one, bait out a punish. Now it's your turn. He's got some really fun strategies with it. I think overall, he might have the best range when it comes to his normals and his combo strings out of, I think, the entire roster of Mortal Kombat 1. Don't quote me on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure. Now let's go and talk about some unique things about Takeda and things you should know as a Takeda main. Like I say, he's got the mid-range poke. Really unique. Another note is Fatal Blow can actually do a couple things. You'll see in the move list, we can press any of our normals multiple times. And that's because if you just do it normally and hands off, you're not going to do anything. That does mean you can cancel by pressing down, down, by the way. So you can like bait out a punish with that do a fatal blow your opponent reacts to it you can't survive a punish them for reacting that can get pretty crazy but if we do our fatal blow then do our normal turns how it looks yeah you throw a lot of stars it's pretty cool however you can just press the block button and get out all just like all your stars at one time just like okay one button boom we're done we're good so that can be quicker and can be you know better for certain situations however keep in mind doing the normal multiple times does do more damage overall in the fatal blow so that's a fun note regarding all of that Takeda is the only character in mortal kombat 1 that has a record if you don't know what a Rekka is, a Rekka is essentially a special move that can be used multiple times in the same sequence that has different benefits for how long you go in the sequence. Like for an example, down forward four is the Rekka move. We can do that three different times in a row, but there are times where doing it just once might be more beneficial. For an example, you can do down forward four inside of a combo to continue it because it kind of stops your opponent in midair, allowing you to recover, then continue. And here's how that might look. You saw that we did down forward four, middle combo, keeping our opponent in the air for just a brief moment, allowing us to continue the combo with like a poke into a special, stuff like that. Or you can enhance the third down forward four for combo extension like this. So there's a lot of ways to implement that Rekka inside of his gameplay. I love it. I'm still messing with it, but it's got some really unique stuff. Like I said earlier, back forward three is a normal special, but it can be canceled by holding down. Though again, you can bait out punishes. If you hold up, it's then an overhead. As you've been seeing throughout this entire time, it's really good for combo extension without using a meter. To enhance your back forward two, that is an awesome aerial pop-up, and that can be used to either side switch or stay on the same side. If you don't want to switch sides, just hold forward and you'll keep going that direction. If we do it in the combo, we want to keep moving forward, I'll just hold forward, other side, there we go. Your enhanced down back one, and then down forward one, as you can see, do the same thing, but different ways. If we're really far away, down forward one will bring the opponent towards us. And if we're close or whatever distance, down back one enhanced will push your opponent away. This is what I'm saying. Takeda can control the space however he wants. He'll bring you to him or he'll push you away. His forward forward is the same thing. It pushes you full screen and that's an overhead. So if you really want to throw the overhead in, boom, now we're full screen. What do you want to do from there? So I bring our opponent towards us, combo. You see what I'm saying? Takeda literally controls the map. He controls the spacing and he does a really good job at it. Now, with your pop-ups, what do you want to do in the air? We have so many aerial combos and aerial specials. What's the most optimal? What are you doing most often? In the air, I'm not gonna lie, I find myself either using just one one into a special, two four into a special, two one into a cameo actually, or just finishing off with a two four grab. And the reason why you'll see two one for a cameo setup, you see it pops our opponent up a little bit more than the other ones do, allowing for a cameo to come in like Scorpion, Movado, and allowing us to continue the combo. Kind of like this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
But if I wasn't gonna use a cameo, you really wanna get technical. Kita has this really interesting back forward three aerial move. It gives you directional influence. You can actually hold towards you or like away and act like Spider-Man go almost full screen. And you can do that inside a combo. You can do like an aerial two, four, do back forward three, and then do two again into a special. It's really tight on the timing, but if you wanna do that rather than use a cameo, you can and it looks like this. So you see, we went two, four, back, four, three, immediately into another two, into a special. And that special we did was actually down back two in the air. You enhance it and you can use a combo as well. And so all of that together can make for some really fun stuff. He's basically just got an answer for any situation that you're going to be in, whether you have cameo meter or not, or you even use a cameo that can extend aerial combos. If you don't, that's totally cool. He has his own answer. You can kind of decide what you want to do from there, especially in the air. He's got so many options. So here's a really fun one that I like doing that includes all of that. So you can see we can do like the back forward three move in a combo, call in a cameo, finish an aerial combo. You, can, you have so many options. Kata is one of my favorite characters in the game. Very unique, has a lot of unique moves. Only one with a really long poke. Only one with a wrecker. Pairs awesomely with many cameos and just looks so dang flashy. With that being said, let's go ahead and go over some fun and easy combos with the Kata to get you started today. Those are all combos without using a cameo. Here are some you can use with a cameo. Guys, let me know your thoughts down below on Takeda in Mortal Kombat 1. Do you like him? Do you hate him? I really like him. He's been a ton of fun lately. If you haven't already, subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content. We have new videos Monday and Friday, and we stream twice a week. Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more Mortal Kombat news, guys, reactions, and more.